Now that VTubing is getting more and more mainstream, a lot more people want to start using a VTubing avatar. But unfortunately, we don't have the necessary funds or skills to make one ourselves. And because we don't have those funds to buy a $100 model or those skills to make one ourselves, what can we do? Well, we could look for a free model online, but if we don't have the necessary skills or the patience to make it our own, then unfortunately, there's not much we can do with that. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you on how you could turn yourself into a basic VTubing model for basically free. My name is Anubis Lives, and I am your VTuber Senpai. On this YouTube channel, we talk about anything and everything VTubing and soon to be VR related. I upload here every Wednesday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you happen to like this video, make sure you smash that like button. Leave a comment down below what you thought about this video or ideas for future videos. And well, subscribe. I do have a goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of 2021. If you happen to like this content, please consider subscribing. And well, let's get into it. So the first and foremost thing we need to do is just open up our Google. Now that we're here at Google, we're just gonna type in snap camera. As you see, we get the search result of snapcamera.snapchat.com. We're gonna hit download. Scroll down just a little bit. We're gonna hit, I have read the privacy policy. Now we're gonna click, I am not a robot. Then we're going to download for either Mac or for PC. Consider we're on PC, I'm going to download for PC. Then once it's done downloading, we're just going to run the installer. Now that we have the installer up, we're just going to hit next, create a desktop shortcut, then next, and then install. And now since the program is open, all we need to do is just hit anime style, and then boom, we're ready to go on the Snapchat side. And now that we're here on the OBS screen, all we need to do is under sources, hit the little plus button, select video capture device. We, since we have a snap camera here, we're just gonna call our snap camera one. Okay. And now that this appeared, we're gonna go to device. We're gonna select snap camera. We're gonna select deactivate when not showing. And then okay. Then this beautiful image in front of you appears. It's not the best thing out there, but it is free and it does do the job of covering up your face. So really, it isn't too bad. And now that we especially moved it to the bottom left hand corner of the screen, it really doesn't look too bad either. When you adjust it to the proper size, it actually looks like it's pretty decent. It's obviously a fun thing to play with and a, a free alternative for you to try. The Snapchat filter is actually really cool because anytime somebody comes into the camera range, they automatically get translated into an anime avatar inside the filter. Also, another cool thing you can do is actually add a green screen or a virtual green screen to the background and you can have yourself cropped out and over your gameplay or tutorials. Now, again, I only recommend this if you don't have the funds to get a avatar made or you don't have friends to make it for you or you don't have the patience or skills to make it yourself. This is absolutely the best alternative for you. Leave me a comment down below letting me know if you're gonna use this method or not. And if you do, link me your Twitch channel in the comments below because I would love to see how it worked out for you and your opinion on it. Again, my name is Anubis Lives. I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Come on by, say hi. Let's talk about anime, gaming, VTubing, whatever. And well, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.